Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Gilly here, and welcome to part 1 of my multi-part guide to become a better pilot in GT Online. In this part, I'm going to go over picking a plane, upgrades, and my thought process behind all of it. Now before we start, I highly recommend that you guys watch my best dogfighters guide. I will be referring to that information in this video. I will leave a link to the original dogfighter guide video and the most recent dogfighter guide in the description down below. So on screen right now, you will see the ranked dogfighting planes. In first place, we have the Pyro. In second place, we have the Starling. In third place, we have the Sea Breeze. In fourth place, we have a tie between the Laser and the Rogue. In fifth place, we have the Nakoda. In sixth place, the Hydra. And in dead last, we have the Molotov. Now, this list is derived from stats based on top speed, turning ability, and acceleration. And again, if you want to know in detail how it was created, the links will be down below. Now, for this guide, I'm only going to be covering the Pyro and Starling planes. And the reason for that is those are my specialty planes, and logically speaking, once you get good in the Pyro Star, there's really no reason to use anything further down the list. However, just because I'm covering the Starling and Pyro only, it doesn't mean that some of the things I talk about cannot apply to, say, the Rogue. Yes, there are maneuvers exclusive to the Starling, and the same can be said about the Pyro. But when I talk about bombing specifically in the next part, those tips can be applied to pretty much every bomber plane. So now that you've picked the plane to use, let's talk about upgrades. Of course, you're going to want to upgrade the armor, engine, etc. to the max, but the ones I want to talk in detail on are the countermeasures and the handling. Now my view on countermeasures is going to be different depending on if you're using a plane or a helicopter. On planes, they don't matter as much because outrunning the missiles is always an option, but you could argue the chaff is more useful when going against the Deluxo or any rocket spam vehicle. But, you know, it's really just down to personal preference on planes. I used flares, but again, it doesn't really matter. But for helicopters, I would say the chaff is definitely the better option. Not only because the flares are really buggy and they sometimes don't even work at all, but the chaff is going to protect you from things like an oppressor or a deluxo or any rocket spam vehicle, because those will destroy you if you don't have a chaff equipped. Flares will not protect you against those types of vehicles. And I actually made an entire in-depth video about countermeasures a little while back, so if you guys want to know more information specifically about countermeasures, I will leave that in the description as well. Now, for handling, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go with race handling no matter what, and I'll, t I'll tell you guys why. So, picture handling as a sensitivity setting in a shooter game. Yeah, you can pick what feels comfortable, but if you bite the bullet and pick the fastest sensitivity and try to get used to it, you're going to be at an advantage to other people that are using a lower sensitivity. The exact same thing can be said about the handling setting. Just put on race handling and fly around for a bit and trust me, you'll get used to it. Back when I first started flying the Starling, I, I couldn't control it with race handling, so I changed it to smooth handling. But later down the line, I decided to change it back to race handling and I got used to it and look at me now. Anyways guys, that is going to be all for this video. I wanted to start the series off with just the basics for those of you who want to get better but don't know where to start, because it's important to get used to flying a plane if you want to do more of the advanced stuff that I'm going to talk about in later episodes. If you enjoyed or found the video helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.